the Golden State Warriors are far from championship rhythm. In the years when they won the NBA trophy, which was not so long ago, this team's game was much more fluid and the defense was much more solid. Now that is not the case. The Golden State Warriors are only in 11th place in the Western Conference with a record of 12-14 and are undoubtedly one of the biggest disappointments of this season. It seemed that the arrival of Chris Paul could be a complete hit, but it turned out to be just the opposite. The point guard from North Carolina is playing one of the worst seasons of his career and is one of the most deserving for the current score of the Golden State Warriors. This team, in addition to all that, enters the next game in a good mood, considering that they recorded two consecutive wins against the Brooklyn Nets and Portland Trail Blazers in the introduction to this match. The Golden State Warriors defeated the Portland Trail Blazers 118-114 in a match that was uncertain from start to finish, with Kerr's team scoring 38 points and receiving 26 in the second half, which was the key in the end. That streak could be a good sign going into the rest of the season, which is heavily questionable due to Draymond Green's suspension. For years, the Boston Celtics have been considered one of the best teams in the league. There were great results in the NBA Finals, but somehow this team always remains disappointed after the great ambitions it has. Despite all that, this team still hasn't managed to figure out what the problem is. Maybe the word problem is too strong because the Boston Celtics have a season in which they are first in the Eastern Conference, while last season they reached the finals of the conference when Miami Heat was better than them. However, all this is not enough because the Boston Celtics represent one of the two best basketball teams of all time, and only the title is the goal. This team is currently in top form, having recorded five wins in a row, including the one against Orlando Magic in the opening game before this duel. Then the Boston Celtics won 114, 97, and once again demonstrated their defensive quality against an exceptional team. The most deserving for that were Jalen Brown with 31 points and Jason Tatum with 23 points. If anyone is going to lead the Boston Celtics to a title, it will be that tandem, which is the team's last chance in this era to get a championship ring. In the previous season, both teams won one game. Absences and injuries, Draymond Green is suspended, while Gary Payton. I will not be ready for the home team. Chris Paul's performance is questionable. Boston is not counting on Luke Cornett, while Chris Stapp's Porzingis is questionable. The Golden State Warriors are on a two-game winning streak, but those two wins have come in tight ends against some of the worst teams in the league. That can't be a good sign, nor can Green's absence. On the other hand, the Boston Celtics are in a rush. They are a better team, and our suggestion is that they will win by a margin higher than the offered handicap. Our prediction is Boston Celtics minus 3.5. Milwaukee Bucks are in excellent form, securing eight wins and only two losses in their last 10 games. In their recent match, they comfortably defeated the Houston Rockets in front of their home fans. Over the past few weeks, the Milwaukee Bucks offense has been improving steadily. There are signs that Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo are developing better chemistry. And when these two establish a good connection, it becomes extremely challenging to stop them. This was evident in their recent game against the Houston Rockets, a team known for its strong defense, yet found itself powerless against the brilliance of this duo. Milwaukee Bucks are absolute favorites heading into this match. Even if one of the two best players gets some rest, it is believed that the rest of the team is sufficiently talented to overcome the challenge posed by the Texas visitors. After breaking their losing streak with victory over the Los Angeles Lakers, the San Antonio Spurs returned to losses, falling to the New Orleans Pelicans in their most recent game. At times, the San Antonio Spurs' defense looks truly tragic, as was the case in the match against the New Orleans Pelicans, where they conceded 146 points. The second half was particularly disheartening, as they allowed 85 points. At the beginning of the season, it seemed that Victor Wembanyama could bring some wins to Greg Popovich's team, but as time passes, the prospects are diminishing. The young Frenchman will have to work hard alongside his teammates to elevate the team to a competitive level. Now they face the Milwaukee Bucks, a team that will undoubtedly show no mercy and will aim for another convincing victory in front of their home fans. There doesn't seem to be a clear way for the visitors to surprise the favored hosts. In the previous season, both teams won their respective home games. Absences and injuries. Jay Crowder will miss this match. Malik Beasley is questionable. Charles Bassey is out for the entire season for the visitors, without a doubt. The Milwaukee Bucks are the absolute favorites against the San Antonio Spurs. The advantage of playing at home, a more talented roster, better current form, 
and the fact that the best player in the match is a member of Milwaukee. Give us reason to predict a home win by no less than 13 points. Our prediction is Milwaukee Bucks minus 12.5.